again and welcome back to me doing the reaction thing uh, to Irina, the uh, Vampire Cosmonaut. Today's episode 8, it's titled A Maiden's Prayer. And uh, yeah, um, I was thinking how the ep last episode ended and how we're probably going to segue now you know, towards the future. Um, with pretty much, uh, the inner monologues of Arena when she finally actually was in orbit and, in, in, you know, outer space. Um, she was talking about how she's never going to make it to the moon. And I feel like maybe that's the next direction the show goes where like you have these characters, maybe orbit the moon, maybe not per se land on it, but you know, that's probably the next big thing. I mean... I, I also like the way how Lev talked about how, you know, she has made history, you know, uh, she has pretty much helped the humanity learn how to explore, you know, our space, but yet she's never going to get that recognition because, you know, it's it's all a secret uh, mission, she's a vampire and all that good stuff, right? I don't know, I really don't know how the show's going to continue moving forward, there's only five episodes left, but, um... The show is extremely going to surprise me because I have not a clue of what they will do next. So without further ado, let's do the reaction. Let's find out together. Alright, here we go. Celebration time. You gotta love the fact that they make her wear the, the suit again? The space suit? Does she really need to wear the suit again? Wow, what a fascinating conversation. All right, I've got. You should drink until after your healthy sanity. Yeah, that's it. In any case, you did very well. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you hear that, gentlemen? We've got our work cut out for us. Oh, look at that, the dragons. Yay, we did it! Let's eat hamburgers, not pizza. Wow. Not, not what I expected them to be doing, but okay. Okay. I returned to Planet 44. Control signs and signal there waiting for me. But there was no celebration for Arena. Just a scan of what their mandates is for. People went inside the sector ship and then warped down into the main chamber. Frost flies right. Would they even have known? I know. Since I was only observing from this, that's all I knew. The details were handled by authorities far above my head. A real shock was that my life force was cut off, despite how seriously I was. Oh. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> You're not all right. So do you know who went up there, huh? Reserve cosmonaut candidate, Private Lev Levinson, reporting in, sir. First, I'd like to commend you for your part in the success of the Nosferatu project. Thank you. Nothing is set in stone. We want to wait for some enough decisions to be made. The committee wants us to continue studying N44's biology. And for you, Lev, I have more news. Sir, the senior comrade Lex, recognition of your outstanding service work. Oh, he got promoted again. The, they're looking for devotion, yeah. Ooh, I like how she throws that shade there. Wow. 
Wow. Wait, why are they fighting? And I'm assuming these are the other pilot candidates. Got it. Okay, now I see the direction of the show. Where it's going. I get it now. Wow. That was dark. You're no different than them dead dogs. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what they're gonna do with her now. I don't understand why they don't make her still be part of the candidate program. Even if she's a vampire, she does have the experience to go to space. What is her character going to do now? You know? Sure, whatever the hell was said there. So we're at the New Year's. Jeez, time is flying by. Oh my god, look, it's a cartoon. <laughs> Wait, for her? For Irina? Wow. No, I, I really don't. <laughs> War. <laughs> like, wow, that's that's really awkward. Okay. I don't know who that is. Are you going to explain this stuff to me? It's Santa Claus. Oh, they're gonna go ice skating. <laughs> wow, they're such girls. I wonder what they both will wish for. 
cute. Wow, she wants to be besties. What? <laughs> wow, they're dorks. Well, Jenner, wow, we're fast forward a month later. I think. The written test. Oh, wow, look at that. We're like fast forwarding the practicing and the running and the poly, the parachuting and all that cool stuff. Yo, how do you not jump and go wee? <laughs> so, how's the flight looking? Beautiful. Most of the whole thing was wrecked in Sierra Canadian Field. Looks like debris was as big as the Kingdom. Wow. The Star Sequoia Garden was shot in flames. Who else was there? A few Caribbeans and a couple visitors. Maybe I'll meet them. I'll be sure to get you back. Uh, <laughs> let me shimmy away from you. That was awkward. They literally cry to each other, you know? And now expressing feelings or watching other people look at their feelings, it's weird. I, I don't get it. <sighs> oh my god, booby times. <laughs> so He's so perverted. <gasps> Pie. Mm, yum. Oh, so we still don't know the results yet. Okay. He's obviously going to get picked. All right. Um, yeah, interesting episode. Very slice of lifey there. Um, I, I, I kind of get it why the show is doing what it's doing right now, because it's like we, the show kind of, like, I, I don't know how to describe it, but I kind of get it. Like the show is. Uh, devolving time, you know, there, there's a week, seven days a week, there's 24 hours a day, right? We're, we're progressing towards a time, which is finding the next com cosmonaut candidates, or at least actual human candidates, so they can, you know, be the first human in space. That's what we're doing right now. So we pretty much just fast forward the month of December and, and January. We're pretty much going into February by the next episode. And then that whole time, at least that whole month, of December and January, um, Irina and Lev were not together. You know, they were kind of apart because Lev was training and doing his thing to be the cosmonaut uh, candidate. And Irina is just doing her little hostage thing or whatever. And, and um, 
hanging out with Anja and, and just doing uh, typical things of like dressing up and making wishes and yeah nothing of interest really my um my concern now is more again the future right uh if, or the future direction of the show as far as uh who are the next candidates and if we're gonna get there can we at least start developing some of these characters also what what is that other country doing the united kingdom of of arm knock or arm track whatever the hell they were called you know, what is their progress on, on the space um, or space race? And you would think that they would have some spies in, in Sinatra, right? So um, I guess, I, I don't know. I just kind of like want some sort of something, some oomph in this show. But it's a little bit whimsical at the moment. It's a little sharp, um, which is not bad by any means. It's just it's not as impactful because... Um, all I'm going to take in, let's say the next few episodes follow the same, you know, scenarios. It's, it's just going to be extremely forgettable anime. You know, it's like, oh, I like the hook. I like the idea. Oh, they send a vampire to space. But yet the show is feeling that it's feeling forgettable. Uh, let's see if it improves. Let's see if it gets better. So, yeah. So that about does it for my video. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So leave them down in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, and always, God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.